Now, from the station on your side, this is Wavy News 10. An empty kayak washed ashore in the Outer Banks this morning and launched a full-out missing person search. And searchers found a driver's license and fishing gear on board, but no sign of the man from Virginia Beach. But then we got a phone call from the man himself, and he had quite a story to tell. Ten on your side, Stephanie Harris. Tom Nicole, as it turns out, Matt Cornelson here swam for more than two miles with his uncle there, Ron, on his back. Both were sitting comfortably in Kerala when they called us. That's about 20 miles from Kitty Hawk, where the kayak washed ashore. The Coast Guard launched a search by air and sea for Matt Cornelson. Turns out the manhunt came two days too late for Matt and his uncle Ron, who abandoned their boat on Sunday. You know, we just got further out quicker than any of us could have, either of us could have anticipated. That's when a big wave dumped water into their boat and they had to get out. Both are experienced boaters and lifeguards and decided to swim for shore, an estimated two miles against the current. When you know you have that much open water to swim against the current, it's, 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 it's a little intimidating, it's a little bit scary. And we've been swimming for 30 minutes and no progress. And I was questioning whether we were even going backwards at times. I said, Matt, you know, we're in serious trouble. Ron started taking on water as the waves got higher and higher. He got dizzy and had to jump on Matt's back. Instinct and training kicked in. You take your time, you don't panic, and you know, just keep on trucking back in. Four hours later, a lifeguard spotted them and helped them to shore. Two days later, they found some perspective. The ocean is sucking you out, you don't have the proper equipment, and you know, the next thing you know, you can put yourself in a pretty bad situation, so um, yeah, definitely be careful out there. And now, what can others learn from this? Well, the Coast Guard says if you ever have to abandon a boat, report it to the Coast Guard so they'll know not to send out a search when it washes up. Also, they advise boaters to stay with their boats and take a marine band radio with GPS with you so they can locate you. Don't rely on cell phones because they might not work at sea. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.